Hello everybody, and in this video I'm going to be showing you some rare items in Pilgrim that can be quite hard to find but are really useful. So first off, let's start off with the accessory, the Red Needle Talisman. This one's definitely one that you could skip over and never see again, which is why most people don't even have this item. It transforms your Nagakiba heavy attack into a fire attack. I've made a whole fire build revolving around this heavy attack, so if you want to see it, let me know in the comments. You'll find this accessory at a chest in Cloud City. You want to take the slingshot here, and then follow me to go to the island where Highway Sun is by teleporting. On that island, you'll be able to find a chest which is golden, and it will have the accessory in it. Like the chest with the glider in it, it actually disappears once you get it, so you won't see it on my screen. But you'll be able to find it at this pillar here. It should be a golden chest, which you get, and you'll get the accessory. Another item that you can also find at Cloud City, which isn't nearly as big of a secret, is the Pocket Mirror. You can find it on this little island here, before you go to the teleporters. This NPC called Mira will sell it to you for 500 gold and 1 diamond. As the name suggests, it lets you use a mirror, which you can use at any place. So right now I can use the pocket mirror, and I'll be able to teleport back to the prairie. You do need to be out of combat though, so you're not going to be able to use it to escape. If you go from the pirate ship to the egg roost, and then keep on going straight, you will actually find a hidden store where they sell accessories for Kai Fist. You'll find it on this little spire thingy, which looks like a rock. I do believe you need some jump height to get up there. To buy the stuff at this store, it requires Arcane Essence, which you can get by beating up Kai. These accessories are actually really good, I haven't tried them out myself, but they look amazing. It's no surprise why Kai Fist seems to be the best fist style that everyone is going for. In the same area is a pirate ship, with an NPC called Scampy who gives you bounties. He will ask you to go and kill the boss, and once you do, you can return to him and he'll give you a chest. These chests can include gems and lots of gold and XP, but it can also include an accessory called Pirate's Earrings, which makes mobs drop 25% more gold and have a higher chance of dropping loot. Probably the most important accessory of this video can be obtained by doing the Sky Battlegrounds. To get this item, you have to reach wave 50 in Sky Battlegrounds. This is incredibly hard on your own, so make sure that you bring a friend with you. As you can see, I just completed wave 50, and now I'm about to get an item called a Mysterious Charm. This is a really good accessory, and it works on almost any build. So what it does is it increases your damage by 10%, and it increases your crit chance by 5%. There's no downside either, so it's very versatile. In order to get the next few items that I'm about to show you, you have to go through to the desert, and go to the merchant on the left, and buy this item called the Challenge Medal. What this item does is it increases the damage that you take by 100%, but it also increases your gold gain by 50% and the enemy drop chance. What's really interesting about the Challenge Medal is that it unlocks more loot drops that weren't available before. When you kill a boss with the Challenge Medal, it may give you drops that weren't on the Bestiary. Equip the Challenge Medal and then come and fight the Thief King. Pay attention to his drops because he actually gives you an item called the Thief King's Crown that wasn't available beforehand. This item is pretty garbage, I'll show you what it does. The Thief King's Crown reduces the cooldown of the cloak move by 2 seconds, but reduces the distance by 33%. Realistically, no one should use this ever, but it's good to have. The King Sampod also has a drop that you can get by killing it with the Challenge Medal, but this time the drop is actually pretty good. I've explained how to kill the King Sampod boss at least 3 times on this channel, but mainly you should be trying to parry his claw attacks and then hitting him while he's stunned. It may take you a few times, but it should be no problem to kill the King Sampod with the Challenge Medal. To see a full tutorial on the King Sampod, watch my video on N. He drops a Sampod Crown, which gives you 4 agility and 12 strength, and makes you gain dodge frames during spin attacks. You also go way faster too, which makes it good on weapons like the Buster Blade. And for the final challenge item, you want to go off the coast of the forest, and sail to the left of the Patchland Grove, the Pumpkin Island, and you'll see an island called the Enchanted Island. On this island will be a boss called the Archmage. His drops are normally pretty bad, but killing him with the challenge medal gives you something interesting. As far as I know, he's the only boss which gives you two new items when you kill him with the challenge medal. The Archmage has to be one of the easiest bosses in the game. He has like no armor, so you can just rush him and kill him instantly. With the challenge medal, you'll get two items, one called the Clever Tome, what this does is it rotates between three different buffs. You can give yourself damage, health regeneration, or speed. The heavy attack applies the buffs to your allies as well. And additionally, you'll also get the Nerd Glasses, 
which is a pretty good accessory for mages. It gives you 20 intellect at the cost of 10 dexterity and 10 strength. Alright, I think that's everything for this video. If this helped you in any way, then please consider subscribing to the channel. Apart from that, peace out.